Guys, it is so hot in Florida right now that I was painting my cabinet doors and I saw this little young raccoon staggering down the road. It couldn't even stand up barely. I'm not sure if it has any other health issues, but um, I quickly grabbed a bucket of water and brought it out here for him. I splashed some on the ground. Once he realized it was water, he was inside the bucket. He's been in there for a good 15 minutes. Um, the bucket's not big enough for him to actually get his whole body into. But he was panting and falling over. He couldn't even walk. At one point, he was drinking the water so fast that he was, like, choking. I don't know how long it's been since he's had water. Uh, if this is the same young raccoon that I saw with his mom and dad a couple of weeks ago, mom and dad didn't look too healthy to begin with. Um, there was two babies and two adults. Um, and now he's just by himself, so I don't know if he's deathly ill or if he's just so dehydrated. Um, he was in the sun when I first saw him, and he was in the bucket like he is now, but uh, he was in the sun, so I tried to get him to move. I grabbed the bucket. He staggered across the street, which was good, and now he's in the shade. So I put the bucket back for him, and I walked away, and I came back, and he was back in the bucket. So he's still trying to cool down, still getting some water. When I was trying to, when I was following him and getting him into the shade, he was kind of trying to hiss, you know, hiss at me a little bit. But he's just, he's far too weak to even try to attack me. I haven't touched him, obviously. I'm not going to touch him. I'm not really a fan of humans' involvement with nature. I believe you should just leave nature be. But um, I couldn't bear to watch him staggering around and falling over. I'm hoping that um, a little bit of water is going to help him out. It's amazing what can happen to your body when you're just dehydrated. It can kill you. I'm just hoping that he doesn't um, collapse in the water and drown or something. Baby. You okay? You okay? You look a little bit better. Boy. It's good. <laughs> got his front paws down in the bucket and I made sure it was cooled water too so I'm hoping that it's uh he probably just wants to lay in it <laughs> I don't blame him it is pretty hot out yesterday they yesterday they said it was it felt like 101 and uh humidity was 50 percent and it's only the end of May right now, so it's going to be a hot summer again. I got an exterior coming up, a full exterior. <laughs> I was trying to get them to book, them, book it in before it got hot out, but they weren't even home yet, so now they're back and they're ready to get it painted. And <laughs> it's like 100 degrees outside now, so needless to say, I won't be working more than four hours a day on that one. When it's hot out like this, I, I don't get full days. You okay? Oh my goodness. Baby raccoon in my paint bucket. It doesn't have paint in it though, it has cold water. <laughs> I don't know. Hoping it's gonna help him out. Uh oh, he's on the move. He wants to go, but he doesn't want to leave the water. I don't blame him. No, look at him. Poor baby. He's so hot. I hope he can 
gonna be okay. Too much water all at once. Okay. He was trying to get his attention when he was staggering down the road and it was almost like he couldn't even hear me. I think he was just too sick to even react. I don't know what to do. I could call the animal control service, but they're just going to pick him up and euthanize him. At least he has a chance on his own. It's just so hot. He's so hot, buddy. Yeah, whoa, my goodness, he's so hot. He's just a baby. He used to running away from humans. He's too weak to even, he can't run, he can barely even walk. I just hope he doesn't go face down in the water and drown in there. There's not a whole lot of water in there. I splashed some out into the grass to get his attention and show him that I had water. He had his legs, his legs were wet when he came out of it the first time. He's not panting as heavy as he was. He was heavily panting. I think it's, I think it's helping, but I'm not sure what other health issues he may have. He wasn't, he wasn't born to very healthy parents. I guess I'll just leave this bucket out here for him. He's still trying to get water. He just was massively dehydrated. Because he's he's been in this bucket now for about 20 minutes before I went and got my phone. Take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. Uh oh. He's so weak he can barely even get his leg out. I'll bring you some more water. He doesn't want to leave the water. Oh, back in the bucket. I wonder if I should go get, uh, I almost grabbed a five gallon bucket, but I don't want him to get stuck in it. I don't know how I would put fresh water, more fresh water in this one when he's, I, could, I don't know, I think I have another smaller bucket. All right, let me go. Let me go and see if I can get a cleaner bucket with some more fresh, clean water to it. Oh, you hear him? Poor baby. All right, I'm gonna go grab a cleaner bucket with some fresh water in it. I'll be back. Oh, where'd he go? Uh oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh no, I think he's dying. Oh no, he's laying. Oh no. He's laying on his back. 
Are you okay? Are you just cooling down? Where are you? We got you some more fresh water. Yeah. Oh no. Are you okay? I think he might have fell over trying to leave. I can't see him very good in the bushes here. Here's some fresh water. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. There he goes. He's running. Well, I had to walk back over, but um, I can see the bucket from here. I don't see him in it. I really hope he's going to be okay. I don't know if he was so full of water and hot that he just fell over and not normal at all. I'm worried about him. Oh my god. He's laying on his back with his legs straight in the air. I'll put the bucket in the shade. <laughs> Oh baby, it's okay, don't try to run. Don't try to run. He was laying on his back with his legs straight out in the air. I don't think he's gonna make it. much else I can do besides leave him. I gave him a fresh bucket with fresh water in it so I'm hoping that's gonna he's not in good shape at all. I hate to see this it's so sad. Okay, well I came back one more time to check on him. I heard some rustling around in the bushes earlier, about 10 minutes ago. I think he staggered off somewhere because I don't, I don't see him anymore. So I'm hoping he's gonna be okay. But I don't see him. The mailman came by so I don't know, I didn't see him, but I left the bucket over there underneath the underneath the shade, so hopefully he'll be okay.